Uh, hey guys, uh, this lesson is surface area of prisms and cylinders. This is part one. It's uh, kind of a big lesson of uh, module 3.2. So our question is how can we find the surface area of a prism and a cylinder? Okay, so all right, I'm just going to jump right to the formulas right here. So here's some pictures of right prisms and oblique prisms. And then so here's a right rectangular prism. Here's an oblique triangular prism, a right pentagonal prism right there. So I showed these uh, figures in uh, when we were finding volumes right here. So there's infinitely many more. Surface area is a little bit more challenging. Surface area, air, anything area, you see the word area, square units. Volume is always cubic units. Surface area of a prism is find the area of the base, double it, find the perimeter of the base times the height, and then add them together, okay? So find the area of the base, double it, find the perimeter of the base and then multiply that times the altitude now your surface area is when you add those numbers together okay so anything that has area is square units anything with volume is cubic units so here today is square units so find the surface area of each prism okay so here we have a right triangular prism let's find the hypotenuse first right here okay so pretend like that's not there yet. And so that would be our first thing is find this because we've got to find the perimeter, okay? 2B plus pH. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So 7 squared plus 10 squared equals uh, X squared. So we get squared of 149. So that hypotenuse is about 12.21. Okay, let's find the area of the base. So the base is 35. So two of those is 70. Okay, so the perimeter of the base is add up, um, uh, this is the base, so 7 plus 10 plus 12.21, so 29.21. So the H is 5, so pH is going to be uh, 29.21 times 5 is 146.05. So there's our surface area. Don't forget, um, it's always in square units, so 216.05 inches squared. All right, this one's the, probably the easiest one of the bunch. The base is uh, 4 times 2. 2 of the bases is 16, so the perimeter is 12 times the height, and then add them together, and we get uh, 34 meters squared. Okay, nice and easy. Okay, so this is a, a hexagonal uh, prism, so we've got to find the area of a hexagon. So this only works on hexagons, you guys only on hexagons it makes up six equilateral triangles and each equilateral triangle is the side squared root three over four i showed this in uh, one of our other lessons um, uh, on volume so um, we're going to take that uh, 7.5 squared root three over four and I, all i did was is uh, uh, multiply it by six because one of them is x squared root three over four but there's six of them so here's the base right here the base is uh, 3x squared root 3 over 4. Okay, let's plug in 7.5. So um, uh, when we do that, we get, um, uh, there's the square root of 3. So let's get our decimal. So the base, two of them is 292.28, okay, times, um, uh, we've got to find the perimeter. So the perimeter is um, uh, pH, so P is um, uh, 7.5 times 6. And then we're going to go ahead and multiply it times 18 after we multiply those guys. So we get 45 times 18, and then add them together. So 2B plus pH, and we get uh, that as our final answer. Isn't that a beauty right there? All right. Uh, the lateral area, you guys, if they ask you for the lateral area, just take off the 2B part. It's, um, it's just uh, the pH part, okay? All right, if you are in my class, that's going to be your assignment. Take care.